let's look up the word jealous because we are going to talk about jealousy. A feeling or showing envy of someone or their achievements and advantages. Feeling or showing suspicion of someone's unfaithfulness in a relationship. Fiercely protective or vigilant of one's rights or possessions. So let's go to Galatians chapter 5 verses 22 through 23. Okay. Now this is going to talk about the fruit of the Spirit, which are the attributes of the Holy Spirit. You are going to receive the Holy Spirit when you start to follow the rules and regulations of the Bible. So you are going to obtain these attributes if you are of God. Okay. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, which is patience, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, which is humility, temperance, which is self-control. Against such there is no law. So you are going to have these attributes when you are serving God properly. So if you don't have these attributes yet, don't stop trying. Keep on striving on. Don't become discouraged. Okay. So in these attributes, do you see jealousy in these attributes? No. So jealousy is not an attribute of the Holy Spirit. So that means that jealousy is an attribute of demons. So we all can say that jealousy is a sin. It is demonic. Okay. So, let's go. And, let me say this. There are some people who look to be jealous of other people. And there are other people, and I am not talking about them, like the people who are looking to be jealous of other people. What I want to talk about are people who mind their own business, but demons come along and plant things in their mind to pit people against each other. Well, in both cases, really, demons are planting things in the people's minds, whether the people who are looking to be jealous and the people who are minding their own business. But let's focus on the people who are minding their own business, not looking for to be jealous or anything like that. Now, one of the many things that demons will do is use jealousy to divide people, to get people to perhaps argue and fight and hate each other to divide people. For instance, myself. Most of the time, my mind is on God. Let me say 95% of the time, my mind is on God. You can even speak to the people I talk to. Almost everything I talk about <laughs> is God, really. Even with that, Demons still try to plant negative thoughts in my mind about people. Trying to get me jealous of other people when my mind is mainly on God. See, what demons do, they can take a thing that a person said or done to you or whatever else. And let's say that what a person said and done was not harmful. That person was not trying to be mean or rude or whatever else. But what demons do, they take what that person has said and done and twist it. Twisting it in your mind and telling you that, hey, this person was trying to hurt you. This person was trying to be rude to you. This person was trying to be mean, so on and so on. Or this person believes that they are better than you and stuff like that. 
just some really foolish things. This is why we need to be careful of what comes in our mind, even if we were not trying to think about those things. Because even if you are not a jealous type of person, demons will try to get you there. I'm telling you, even for myself, trying to get me jealous of someone when I am not that type of person. So I had to think to myself, I'm like, what is going on in my thoughts? Like, why am I even thinking about something this foolish? Demons. If it has been happening to me, I know that it has been happening to you as well. Demons love to twist things in our minds. It does not mean that you are not serving God and stuff like that, because as you can see, I serve God, and demons were trying to get me to latch and hold on to some false thoughts. That person did not mean things in that way. Or even if that person did, it still doesn't mean that I can change the way that I treat that person or people. Does that make any sense? Be careful of your thoughts because everything or most things begin where? Right in your mind. So if demons can twist your thinking, sooner or later, you are going to act upon what you are thinking, which is wrong if it is sinful. Does that make any sense? So be careful of what goes around in your thoughts because I'm telling you, demons don't want Christians to pray together, to read the Bible together, so on and so on. Demons do not want people to work together as one because if we do, that is a lot more power that we are going to be operating in. And that is bad news to demons. Because think about it. Everyone you meet, you have some type of problem with. Why is that? Demons. It is not normal to have a problem with everyone that you meet, everyone that comes near you, everyone that you meet, <laughs> you have a problem with them. That is not normal. That is demonic. So demonic. So even if some misunderstandings happen, don't divide from that person until you really know what is going on. Yes, with some people, you may have to leave alone. Yes. But get an understanding first. If it is possible, even if there are problems, it would be good to not separate from that person because perhaps you can get that person to change. It is a possibility. But if you have to zap, but if you have to separate, then you have to do what you have to do. But you have to know that it is demons. Humans are not our problem. Demons are. It is demons operating in that person or you making things bad. See, the thing that you have to understand, demons use the same tricks almost on everyone. Some tricks may work on me and other tricks may not. The tricks that worked on me may not work on you, but others may. But usually the same tricks, demons usually play the same tricks on all of us. 
That is no coincidence. So we have to be watchful of what the enemy is doing. This is why we need to talk to people other than like, hey, this person made me mad. So, you know, I'm never going to talk to this person anymore or I am going to go over there and argue and fight with this person because they hurt me. And No. Something that we all have to learn. We need to talk things through to get an understanding of what's going on. If you find out from that person like, hey, this person is really trying to hurt me, then you have the option to go on your way or to try to help this person still. But if you don't speak to this person when they or when you assumed they purposely was trying to hurt you, that is going to happen to you almost every time because all demons have to do to get you all alone is set up an issue with everyone. <laughs> and you are going to get mad at that person and separate from that person. So, boom, you are easy bait or easy. Uh, you can easily be trapped. Does that make any sense? So, my main focus, jealousy, is one of the many ways that demons will try to get you against another person. I'm telling you. Even when your mind is not even on that stuff. Because I don't care if a person is more rich or have a better job than me or a better wife or kids. I don't care about those things. But what demons do, take what you don't care about and play it in your mind like, hey, that person has kids and have this and have that. And if you latch on to those thoughts, you are going to hate that person or feel some type of way about that person. Even when you did not even care about those things those demons are placing in your mind. I'm telling you. <laughs> it makes no sense. The things that you don't even care about, demons will use that to get you jealous about another person or people. I don't want to have kids. I don't want to get married. But demons will show you people that are married and have kids like hey <laughs> these people have kids and have this and that and you don't have kids or a wife or so on and so on so you really aren't that good or so on you know dumb things like that you have to be careful or hey this person is doing really well in, in college and stuff like that and this person is doing well in this and you know, and why aren't you doing that? <laughs> what? Because I don't want to do it. I really hope you understand this. Be very careful of what goes in your mind. Because demons will use anything. Anything to get you out of the will of God. Even if it is something that you don't care about. Or have no interest in. <laughs> think about that. Really think about that. Because this is happening, I assume, this is happening to many people. And many people are falling for it. So we have to fight against the enemy every single day, whether it is in our dreams, in our thoughts, through other people and stuff like that. We have to fight against the enemy all day, every day. And as soon as we let our guard down, our guard down, boom, that's when the enemy comes. When we least expect it. I really hope this makes sense. So keep your guard up as much as possible. I know that it, it gets tiring 
from time to time, you know, fighting against the enemy and praying so much and doing this and doing that. But hey, what other choice do you have? You really don't have any other choice. If you do, please tell me <laughs> so I can find it. <laughs> I don't like fighting every day. I just like it. But anyways, really take heed to this. God bless.